What is happening guys? Hope everyone is doing well. A little while back, I ended up picking up some new carbon fiber actually. If you watched one of my other videos that I posted just a few videos ago, I believe, we installed new APR carbon mirrors on the car and the Subi got its first taste of carbon. And since then, it's wanted some more. So, we ended up going ahead, picking up one of those APR carbon fiber license plate surrounds right down here, kind of in this groove in the rear bumper. What I ended up doing with this actually, as soon as I received it, I took it over to G19 here, it's a local, uh, they do like wraps and uh, PPF and whatnot. Uh, but G19 here in Edmonton, and they got this thing fully protected in some Expel PPF. Just over time, um, I think carbon fiber in the sun has a tendency to maybe fade. Um, so that film should help protect against kind of the UV rays and everything. So hopefully that carbon fiber stays looking fresher for longer. That's what I ended up doing as well with the carbon mirrors. I ended up getting those protected before I put them on the car so that uh, nothing gets all chipped up on our awful roads. The Subi is looking extra fresh. For those that don't know, I actually just ended up posting a wash video on this. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. But um, anyways, I was trying to do like a little bit of a test fit on this and I did realize the fitment on these APR pieces I think are super snug, so I'm hoping I can get it to fit well. Anyways guys, um, I just wanted to finish off the video here. As you would have probably seen, I did not make it work with the frame. So the holes in the plastic frame, once mixed with the holes in the carbon and the holes in the license plate, as I was saying before, um, that piece is so tight in that little insert area of the rear bumper that to get it to line up perfectly, like as you could see, I can mount it up just fine with just the license plate, but if I try doing it with the frame, it's just kind of too much. It ends up becoming just really tight and awkward to try and get everything lined up in order to get a screw through it. Uh, it doesn't help that my screws are a little short. As you would have seen for now, I just installed everything without the plate and I honestly think it looks pretty good. I actually want to get a new plate one day soon because that plate looks kind of trash. Ideally a vanity plate, that's what I've always wanted, but I've just never done it because I gotta think about what I'd want. <laughs> That's maybe a good idea. Um, in the comments below, let me know, like a good vanity plate. I've been thinking, uh, well, I shouldn't say I've been thinking, I haven't been, but uh, think of some good vanity plate ideas and if I like them, maybe I'll do it. So, pretty quick and easy video. Uh, I have some more stuff planned for the car. I've got some stuff planned, I think, for the truck and even for the garage. I think I got some more stuff planned here this summer. So, if you guys enjoyed, definitely a big ol' thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Want to stay tuned for future videos? Definitely subscribe so you get notified when I upload. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.